pacer. Okay, it might not give you a successful life, but you have to work hard for everything. It might not give you a successful life, but trust me, it will definitely grant you a meaningful life. I'm very proud to say today I am a slash. For example, I'm now working as a professor, a full-time professor at Hong Kong University. Because of my industry experiences, the entrepreneurial experiences, and all the different awards from the film and from running my own business in the past, past years. And I'm also doing my PhD, We're still focusing on entrepreneur and business management. I am still in love with ballroom dancing. And today I am still consider myself an amateur ballroom dancer as well as teacher. Although I shut down my dance studio two years ago because of a weak business model, but I don't see that as a failure. The experience I have got and the money I have made actually helped me grow. And I was able to pay more than half of my NTU uh, tuition based on the money I got from the, from the studio business. So I don't see that as a failure. I see that as one opportunity leads to more opportunity. And guess what? I never realized I'll become an author and as a speaker. Thanks to those experiences, now I'm, I'm very proud to say I have published a book. And as a Toastmaster, now you can eventually become a professional speaker. Actually, you can be a professional speaker even right now. And you don't need to publish a book to do that. And last but not least, I will still consider myself as an entrepreneur and as a dreamer. Because of those experiences, because of the lesson and knowledge I've gained from NTU, I have actually become another, I have actually start another two business as a shareholders. Not as a CEO, but as a shareholders in the real estate. And the other one is um, like air purification business. Thanks to those experiences, thanks to those, you know, experiences and knowledge and NTU training. I'm proud to say I will forever be an entrepreneur and as a dream chaser. Now after the dance, like, now after running your own dance studio, I have learned many important lessons. And today I want to share with you some of the quotes that I think have affected me throughout these years. One of them is this quote by an American author called Joseph Campbell. He says, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. What is this cave that you fear to enter? It might be starting your own business. It might be changing a job. It might be trying something new. It might be even standing out here trying to talk to people. But guess what? From those experiences, I can guarantee, ladies and gentlemen, the cave holds so much treasure. As long as you're willing to step in, you can see all the lights, all the jewelries, and endless opportunities. I have learned that from running my own business, fail, leads to another opportunity, and learn from it. The second quote is from a very, from a professor of mine when I study in Vancouver. He says, he said this sentence at the end on, on the graduation day. And he told us, when stuck in life, just take a small step and try. When stuck in life, just take a small step and try. Many of us are fear 
we fear to enter this cave because we're afraid that one we, once we step, we're gonna fall down and disappear. But the best way is to take a small step and try. If you see it doesn't work, just come back and try another step. But as long as you try another step, maybe you'll find another step that will lead to your final destination. So remember, take a small step and try. Last but not least, a very aspiring entrepreneur, Steve Jobs, who says this sentence um, in, at Stanford. He says, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you get to trust that the dots will somehow come back in your life. As I was drawing different memories, looking at those different uh, memories from Facebook that pops up, I realized Steve Jobs was right. Looking back at my entrepreneurial journey, could you believe a, sing, uh, a, a dance event on Friday night will inspire a dancer to, to start his own dance studio? Can you imagine you know, working on a successful film, become a award-winning project manager, could have a kidney failure and start to think about, this is the life he wants? Could you, think, could you believe that a single table topic question could lighten up an entrepreneurial fire? In someone's mind. Could you believe that running your own dream can help you realize you're not good enough, but when you keep trying, you can find more opportunities in the future? And could you believe that all those experiences can help someone become an author and as a professional speaker? Wow, I have never thought about that 13 years ago. But as I went back and take a look at those memories, I realized, yes, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure. To enter the cave, you had to take a small step and try. And once you keep trying, when you look back from, the, from your future many years back, you realize all those dots can help you become a dream master. So at the end, what's going to happen to me in the next few years? I do not know. I do not know what is going to happen with your future either. But I know one thing. As long as you keep ch chasing your dream, as long as you keep trying on different steps into the cave you fear, you will eventually find the treasure and become your own dream master. Thank you. <laughs>